uh, animal kingdom uh, is uh, further divisible into two sub kingdom this is on the basis of grade of organization one is called parazoa which includes the animal having cellular grade of organization and it includes it includes one phyla is porifera next sub kingdom is eumetazoa which includes organism with tissue grade and organ system grade of organization nidaria onwards all animal phyla belongs to this category we further divide eumetazoa on the basis of symmetry in two groups one group which is called radiata includes animal having radial symmetry or biradial symmetry nidaria is an example of radially symmetrical animal and tenophora is an example of biradial symmetry symmetrical animal further platy helminths on ward all animal phyla belongs to bilateria they have bilateral symmetry in some stage of life at least in embryonic stage they are bilaterally symmetrical animals with bilateral symmetry is further divisible into three groups on the basis of uh, nature of coelom these groups are acelomata pseudocelomata and eucelomata acelomata includes platy helminths in which coelom is absent pseudocelomata includes nematoda with a true coelom is not found a space is present but for calling a true coelom as uh, uh, for calling a uh, coelom as true coelom it must be lined by the cells of mesoderm and in pseudo coelomate animals the space is lined by mesoderm on one side other side is lined by endoderm that's why it is considered a pseudo coelomate new coelomata truly coelomate animal in which the body cavity is lined by mesoderm on both side again eucelomate further uh, divisible into two types pseudocelomate and enterocelomate representative of pseudocelomate animal is annelida arthropoda and mollusca and enterocelomate echinodermata hemichordata and chordata now the next topic is gen general characters and their representative phyla the first character uh, i am going to discuss is about grades of organization we can uh, divide uh, entire phyla of animal kingdom on the basis of grade of uh, organization it has three grades cellular grade tissue grade and organ system grade cellular grade in this group uh, which includes the members of porifera have multicellular body organization but tissue is not found this is simplest grade in animal kingdom next grade slightly advanced where tissue is formed is called tissue grade of organization it includes uh, two phyla of animal kingdom one is called uh, nidaria another is tenophora more advanced group Uh, which is called as organ system grade includes platy helminths onward all animal phyla means from platy helminths to chordata all members belongs to this group next uh, feature i am going to discuss is about body plan in the animal kingdom there are three types of body plan cell aggregate aggregate plan which includes porifera next is blind sac plan blind sac plan means one end of the body is blind body has a single opening called which serves the function of mouth and anus nidaria belongs to this group nidaria belongs to this group the next plan is tube within tube plan means one tube surrounded by other tube 
this tube within tube plan the inner tube is elementary canal and other outer tube is body wall and elementary canal have two openings one opening is called mouth and other opening is called anus so there are separate uh, routes for ingestion as well as ejection unlike uh, blind sac further of the two openings which one is for first mouth or anus on this basis we can divide it into two groups protostomic plan and other is called deuterostomic plan protostomic plan in protostomes mouth is formed first anus is formed later this group is called protostomic group and protostomic group includes four phyla of animal kingdom nematoda annelida arthropoda and mollusca the other group which is called deuterostomia in which anus is formed first then mouth is formed includes three group this echinodermata hemichordata and chordata 